What is happening guys? Cowboy here and welcome back to Neo. So it is finally time to get kicked off with the new DLC, Dragon of the North. Let's hop to our country map and head on over to the Tohoku region to get this kicked off. Not Masamun. The one-eyed dragon himself holds Aoba Castle, named for its location atop Mount Aoba. Built on the precipice of the mountain's cliffs, with some parts even overhanging, the castle exudes grandeur, and this construction ensures it is often likened to Kiyozomizu Temple in modern-day Kyoto. The striking thing about the castle, unlike others in Japan, is that it has no main tower, a deliberate ploy by Masamune to show Tokugawa Yesu that he has harbored no hostility. However, with mountains to the west, sheer cliffs to the south and east, and four three-story keeps within its main exposure, Aoba Castle was more than a mere administrative complex and was clearly designed as a stronghold should even war break out. So we're going straight into a mission? Like, I need, I need some, like, story. Here we go. As of late Oshu, Dat Masamune is one of the most powerful lords in Zingpangu and with the greatest military force in all the land. There are whisperings that he should rule the country was once the... Dai Shogun has passed. A letter to the city of Seville by missionary Louis something something. Monomezrashidaronga. <laughs>東京大平の石勢に力添えよかろう。Oh, that's not good. He's got a demon eye. Oh, this is looking like it's going to be good. Tsuchizaki port. There's my boy, William, fully decked out in ninja gear. Hey, it's Mr. Cat. supposed to be dead.
Neko Matata. I wonder what he buffs. おしゅのゆ伊達政宗が礼式を集めておるとつきとみるその目的を追っておる最中に消息を絶ったのじゃ暗示よ急に欧州へ向かってくれ新たな気配も強い気をつけるのじゃ Okay. So, Yokai Country. Mission level 150. And I am a little bit underleveled for this, but I have gear. So, real quick, <clears throat> I should probably kind of recap where my ninja is at. Did some respecking, as you can see, 99 dexterity. A um, little bit low on health at only 15 body. Magic is down at 10. Basically, got rid of a lot of the Omeo that I had. Spirit is just high enough for me to use the main spirit that I want. Uh, but with a ninjutsu power of 602, this guy does work. So, um, of course, with the update, we can now have two guardian spirits. Aya Komori, still the best one in my opinion because of the unlimited ninjutsu bonus. Um, and then Gyoku, we're getting the ninjutsu power out of that. Which, I will, actually, I might not be getting that with it. Uh, hmm, let me see something here. Even though it's my secondary, yeah, wow, I need three points in spirit to actually have that ninjutsu power, that bonus, son of a bitch. Well, it's okay. I have levels to go. I'll end up getting that soon enough, um, so I'll pick up three levels for that. Um, but we've also changed up a lot, like, I mean, obviously with our respect, so let's go through kind of where we're at. Um, so obviously, Kusarigama, pretty much the exact same stuff I had before. Nothing has changed there. Kusarigama is still bay. Um, haven't touched Odachi. I definitely am interested in Odachi. This is not the build for Odachi. If you want to see the Odachi, I'd say tune into the Drunk Theory. I'm probably going to swap off Axe and use the Odachi in that. Uh, and Omyo, we've really slimmed down. We have Awakening for the Instant Cast. And aside from that, the only things we picked up, we got Health Gain from Elixirs. Um, and then we got Carnage Talisman, along with Weakness Talisman. So debuff the enemy, buff myself. Um, and then, of course, with a ton of ninja points from having 99 dexterity, I basically have everything in the ninja tree. Like, there's a couple things I skipped, like catwalking, super, and kodama transformation, um, hands of death, just because I don't use it. What else have I skipped? Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's that's really it. I also moved away from bombs. I had them still, but we're not doing a very heavy bomb-style gameplay. We're going to be more, uh, more ninja, you could say. So as for equipment, of course, everything is divine. Still rocking that head of the Ega ninja set. Uh, just to, to show you what I have exactly here. Check this baby out. Enemies defeated damage bonus A. Wind damage on there. Close combat attack key reduction. Close combat attack life drain. Change to attack based on dexterity A+. Of course, this also has changed to attack based on dexterity A+. Equally as awesome. Even without anything in key, I could use this uh, quite efficiently. Our rifle, our bow, and then of course our Ega set, which I'd like to, to do some respecking here, but I didn't have the time. Wanted to at least get the first episode out of this, or the first episode of this out to you guys. Um, and spent quite a bit of time respecking to get there. But anyway, let's get started. Yokai Country. I like how it gives you five soul stones and a book of reincarnation to get started. Since he departed for Tono and Date Territory, all traces of Hanzo have seemingly dried up. We must go after him before the trail vanishes completely. But before we proceed, you should understand that Tono is known to be home to various yokai. I admit that it is my first time to visit there, but already the air is thick with a foreboding sense of familiarity. Do I have... Kodama Sans. Kodama Sans. Gotta have that Kodama sense. Let's do it.
Rest sleepily along the mountains, running through its heart is the Sarugashi River, long said to be a habitat for kappas. So this new ninja build, obviously like I said, we have carnage and weakness. Um, we're not using sloth, we got makashibe, which are nice. We have a heavy focus on kunai, and then right now I got paralyze and poison powders on. However, I'm um, more than fine with swapping those to something else. Uh, I might end up using kunai, I might, or not kunai, I might end up using shurukens. Might end up using... Um, Rai Kunuyuki Odachi. Let me actually look at the Odachi. Just because this is the first one I've ever found. Oh. Is this the Odachi? No, that's just a regular sword. Where's the Odachi at? Whoa. When did I find these? Those look really badass. I want those on my Omeo build, like immediately. Wooden hammer, where is the Odachi? So, attack multiplier. Odachi is based on strength, heart, and stamina, with strength being the primary. Neato. Dudes, dudes. Looks like a lot of people were dying this way. Look at how much damage those kunai just did! And, um, before you even ask the question, yes, I just one-shot that guy with a kunai. Welcome to the true ninja build. I still can't get over how powerful it is. I mean, I tested it against some bosses, but... It's still, like, it still amazes me, just using it and seeing the actual damage of it. That looks big and scary. Let's go down here first. Arrow the Brave. What is he cut down by? shall serve my lord for eternity. I like how even with... I don't think so, old friend. It's a shortcut for later. Alright, so these guys are kind of slow. We're gonna uh, switch things up a little bit. Let's go... Let's get rid of our powders. No, oh, set this... Uh, put those there, and then how much do I have left? I got four I could do. Um... Hmm. I haven't got to... I haven't actually tested these at all, so I'm gonna ready those up. Just to see oh, how effective they are. Oh, wow. And actually, hang on. I gotta level up. I'm sitting there, like, looking at my Amrita, like, oh, hang on a second here. Alright. I think it looks like I can do more than that, too. Um, 
Well, from here, I guess I'll start putting points into body. Just to get my health up. Because my health pool is pretty pathetic. Look at that. Instant fire with two of those. Second. Oh no, that's right. That used to be the uh, used to be the parry, but I'm not using it. The only thing this build really needs is, uh, need more limited ninjutsu. Just to be able to really spam my shit. This thing to run into the ground trap, see what it'll do. Looks safe to jump down. Damn it. I knew there was a reason I put on fire shrewdness. Got a shortcut here. But just to skip all those kappas. What's funny about this, if you actually search like ninjutsu builds Neo, there's like a bunch of people who are basically like, oh, ninjutsu is terrible for th only the exception of like the survival scrolls. You can't bother, don't bother doing ninjutsu builds, they're, they're garbage. Like, really? It seems to me like I am absolutely pooping on everything I find. Now, I mean, get, I do have divine gear. This is still level 150 content and my character I mean my gear is 150 but my guy my guy is only level uh, you know level 131 so I could argue that I'm actually under leveled for this and the most broken thing is I have Kusari Gamas. I haven't even had to use the Kusari Gama really yet. Like, it's more there just like in case I decide to dick around with it. Come walk on these fire traps. Come on. Come get them. No chance, sadly.
Oh shit, the hell was that? Those are new, those are the storm kunai. Which throws out three at once. Pretty OP. I mostly reserve those for bosses just because of how strong they are. But if I really need to crap on something fast, they get the job done. Also, a hell of a lot faster with all this focus on ninjutsu. I got the uh, the running stuff. All right, so that's a shortcut. I'm gonna see where that. Actually, hang on. That's probably where I saw that body earlier. No, I don't know where this is exactly. We're gonna investigate that in a second because I just noticed we're already at like 20 minutes. Uh, I want to finish looping through this zone. So we came from there, killed some dudes there. This leads out to another shortcut we can knock down. Oh, we haven't been haven't been down there yet. Where else does this lead to? Remember how scared I used to be of those things? Not anymore, douchebag. Alright, here's the shrine. Um, so I imagine this is the way we gotta go progression-wise. We're gonna finish up these two shortcuts and see what's down here before we wrap up this episode. So let's do... here first, and then I'll see if I can find my way... I don't think I'm going to keep Ground Trap. Fire Shuriken is nice just for taking those things out. <laughs> and you're dead. two Kodamas over here. Definitely want to do this. I know where we're at now. That's the waterfall from earlier. There's another Kodama. Another shortcut we can unlock. Get over to there, though. There it is. Beating all that ass, Ninja needs some time in a hot spring. Alright, let's go check out that ladder we saw. I gotta figure out what I want instead of ground trap. Maybe paralyzing powder. Poison shurikens just seem so iffy. It's hard to really appreciate them. Is this the ladder we kicked down? 
Yep, okay, that makes sense. So it's just a shortcut ladder back to a shrine, which I don't think I ever grabbed this shrine. At least the sh shrine doesn't look familiar. Oh no, yeah, I did grab this shrine. Well, let's sprint over. Pretty much just sprint over to where we need to go now since we unlocked that gate previously. So, first episode is going to wrap up here. Um, i got to decide what I want for a good third. I'm going to keep fire on. Maybe I'll pull out poison or paralysis, but the ground traps are a little just kind of like meh. I could take them or leave them. But anyway, hope you guys are enjoying the DLC. Um, just because I'm sure a lot of people are going to be like, how is he doing so much freaking damage? Um, nothing really intricate about it. Just 99 dexterity, and then uh, aside from that, Make sure you get right here, Thrown Blade Technique, just because that's an extra 12% coming in. And then, of course, Concealment, increasing damage dealt by long-range weapons. And that's really all there is to it, to make your kunai hit like trucks. So, anyway, make sure to stay tuned, and we'll catch you guys with Part 2 of Dragon of the North a little bit later today.